Hi, this is Brian, and I've been uh, trying to understand this the Sterling um, engines for a while, and I'm just curious as to why no one has made a Sterling turbine. I've had a look on the net, and I don't see anything, and as because everything seems to be reciprocating, so things are jumping back and forth, and the housings are jumping, and. <clears throat> it's a cycle anyway so you could conceivably have the the cold air running through one chamber here another chamber where the pressure is increasing uh, another pressure uh, chamber where the the volume is uh, decreasing and then uh, pressure decreasing you could do these cycles in four little chambers um, so you'd have this chamber here <coughs> now th this one would be you have it's kind of like a turbine and a pump but they're both turbines it's similar to something that you would have in a, a jet engine where uh, one turbine is bigger or has more veins than the other one so they're spinning on the same shaft it's just one is uh, forcing the air into the space faster than it can get out through the other one and so you'd have two of them you'd have the hot turbine uh, th this would say this could be the heat input area and if you can imagine another turbine just below it as the uh, exhaust area and then you'd have two empty you'd have an empty space here and an empty space here for the other two sections of the cycle and um, the turbines could be linked uh, magnetically so one would be spinning maybe one way and the other spinning another and you, you would have to um, or it could be some sort of um, rubber band type thing could be holding them together and same as most sterling engines it would have to be kind of kick started you spin to start and once it's going it's going um, so I'm just curious why why there is no um, sterling turbines out there uh, why is it only these reciprocating things um, given that it's a cycle um, okay, so might be barking up the wrong tree, but uh, uh, just a question that maybe someone can answer. Thank you.